Next. Okay, uh, this is John and Jenny Smith. Jenny was shot and killed by Steve Jones when he mugged her. John survived the shooting, but later died of natural causes. Steve also eventually died of natural causes. John believed you did magic tricks. <sighs> I mean miracles. Back on Earth 2,000 years ago, and therefore accepted your ultimatum. Steve also believed at the time of his death. Jenny, however, did not believe. Oh, well, this is easy then. Jenny, a uh, bye bye <laughs> John, Steve... Have fun in heaven together. You think John will be happy spending an eternity with the guy who murdered his wife? Of course he will. Sin cannot occur in heaven, and hate is sin. Every bit as serious as murder, Jeffrey. Then he isn't really himself in heaven. He's just some mindless drone, forced to be happy to spend eternity with the guy who made his life a living nightmare. Well, maybe his wife should have thought about that when she didn't believe that 2,000 years ago, I performed the best magic show east of New York City. East of New York? That whole David Copperfield thing, making the Statue oh, of Statue Liberty Oh, Statue of disappear. Liberty, right, right. Oh, I saw David Copperfield. He was magnificent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, shut it about David Copperfield. But if people aren't themselves in heaven, then the only true afterlife is in hell. Jeffrey, just take it up with Dad, okay? I'm done. Next. Um, God? 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 Pink Unicorn stole the Lord's most beautiful creation, the rainbow. But then, the warrior of God said, No! Um, God? Uh -huh. Uh, what's up, Jeffrey? Um, God, I was thinking... That's probably not a good idea, Jeffrey. Why is murder wrong? What do you mean, why is murder wrong? Well, I mean... Of course it's wrong. Right, but I mean, I'm more worried about why the people who believe in you think it's wrong. Jeffrey, what the hell are you talking about? That's what the believers say to the atheists. I know. They say, if you don't believe in God, then why aren't you out murdering people right now? Yeah, but- According to the atheist worldview, murder isn't wrong, they say. And morality is subjective. Okay. And then the atheist cries and runs home to mama, cause his sucker ass just got owned. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, God. Just forget I asked. Forget you asked what? Why murder is wrong? <sighs> yeah. Do you say murder is wrong because it's wrong? Or is it wrong because you say it's wrong? Well, we... we uh, okay, what's the difference? Well, if murder is wrong whether or not God says it's wrong, then morality doesn't require God. But if murder is wrong just because God says it's wrong, then morality is arbitrary. So, which is it? Arbitrary, 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 I don't know. What? No, no, it's not arbitrary. Jeffrey, it's against my nature. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And who decided what your nature would be? Uh, I did. Then you just pushed the problem back a step and morality is still arbitrary. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. Then your nature was determined by something else beyond your control. Which again, means God isn't a requisite of morality. So I ask you, again, why is murder wrong? Okay, well, you, no, I... What are you doing here? I don't... 
Well, why do you think it's wrong? Oh, of course you'd have to ask me, because you've murdered a lot of people, haven't you? No, Jeffrey, it's not murder when I do it. I think that's called special pleading, God. No, I'm not human, Jeffrey, so it's not murder. I created humans, so I have the right to do whatever I want with them. Everything that happens, happens according to my plan, which is ultimately good. Besides, why would it matter if I take someone's life when they'll live on in eternity? Wouldn't it be wise to lead by example, though? I mean, it's supposed to be good if someone is godly. But then, wouldn't it be godly to drown everyone on the planet? You've killed people. So wouldn't it be godly to kill people? Do what I say, not what I do, Jeffrey. Isn't that hypocritical? Is it hypocritical for a parent to drink a beer, but then not allow their child to drink a beer, too? Well, no. Right, because there's a bigger picture to consider, Jeffrey. There's reasons beyond a child's understanding. So, I ask you once again, why do you think murder is wrong? It's not. What? I mean, as long as you, God Almighty, exists, then murder isn't actually wrong. How so? My, my, how short your memory is, God. Don't you remember saying, everything that happens, happens according to my plan, which is ultimately good? Yeah. So? That's instant justification for murder. If someone commits murder, then that murder was necessarily part of God's plan, because everything that happens happens according to your plan, and your plan is supposed to be ultimately good. Besides, what does that matter? The murderer is just sending the person to an eternity with you, and as you yourself said, what's a few years of life compared to an eternity? Who cares? Also, the murderer could just ask you for forgiveness and not be punished, right? So, if God exists, then not only is murder not wrong, but it's totally justifiable and morally inconsequential. Ah, uh, inconsequential, inconsequential. On the other hand, if there is no God, then murder is unjustifiable and highly consequential. How so? Well, the non-believer most likely also doesn't believe there's an afterlife, which means they'd think their current life is all they get. If they murdered someone, their only shot at life would be ruined by spending all their time in prison. What's more important, though, is that they believe that taking someone's life means that they'd end that person forever, taking away all their memories and future experiences, everything they would have ever had or ever would have been. The ultimate violation. Sheer empathy alone would make that a highly untenable proposition. Untenable, untenable, uh... So, uh, what are you in for? Oh, I didn't believe Jesus did magic tricks. Same here. I think that's what everyone's in for. Yep, no, I once saw Jesus perform. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Indeed. You know who's actually a better magician than Jesus? I don't know. Uh, David, David Copperfield? Copperfield? Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you actually get a Coke in hell? Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say coke? I meant sulfuric acid. <sighs> Look on the bright side. At least you get to keep your mind. Relax. What's the problem? Uh, I have a confession. Okay, I'm listening. There's, uh... uh... There's, there's something, there's something that I can't do. What? You? Yeah. But, but you're God. You're supposed to be omnipotent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it, Jeffrey. You're not really helping. Okay, w w what is it you can't do? <laughs> Please stop! <laughs> but if 
if I stop, you won't get any presents. <laughs> I don't care. Just stop. <laughs> Nonsense, Johnny. The rituals of ancient cultures demand a blood sacrifice when you're naughty. <laughs> <laughs>